Ready? Yep. This DIY sandbox playset features an 8 by 7 foot sandbox, trapeze bar with rings, a rock climbing wall, a rope ladder, monkey bars, tube slide, a steeple climber, and an upper level playhouse with a rear porch to access the climbing wall. This video is a follow up to the video linked up on your screen and in the description below. So if you missed the first video, you can check that out for more footage and an overview on some of the specs of this playset. With that out of the way, let's dive in for a quick building guide to go along with the thorough plans I have available for purchase in the description below. To build this, you will need to start with a level surface. Dig out the soil in the sandbox area if needed, build your sandbox, and then you're on to the four main corner posts and the flooring joists. The 4x4 posts on the left side extend all the way up to the roof of the house and will help support your walls. The posts on the right side extend up through the floor as well and these become railing posts on your second level. Most of this project can be done solo but this will be one of the steps where you will want a helper. Secure the outer flooring joist to the posts then add the inner flooring joist. Note that the joists on the left and right sides extend past the sandbox to become supports for the monkey bars. The joist on the front of the playset extends past the left post to support the porch. You don't want to cut these pieces wrong because these are expensive. My plans will reference the front, left, right and rear sides of the playset. The front will always refer to the side of the playset featuring the round window. The right side is the side with the slide. The left side is the climbing wall side and the rear, of course, is the monkey bar side. The monkey bars will require you to drill through two sets of two by sixes for the bars. These two pieces are going to be identical and you will run another board on the outside of these boards to hide the holes and make it pretty. Run a screw from the bottom of the boards up into each monkey bar to keep the bars from spinning. Your wood screws will likely be able to get through the bottom half of the bar, but by the time it gets to the top of the bar, it'll be too dull. So choose a screw length that will stop around the middle of the bar or pre-drill with a drill bit for metal and then you can choose a longer screw and go right through the entire bar. Next you will add the 45 degree corner braces. This is your chance to make sure your structure is level and straight and strong. So don't hurry this part or you will have a crooked house and frustration later. Make sure you get it square. Build your ladder then start on the right side and screw in the flooring. Keep a consistent gap between the flooring. Remember that wet pressure treated lumber will shrink in width as it dries and dry lumber will expand in width in humid conditions. If your lumber is wet with pressure treatment when you're building, you can probably screw the boards together without any gap as it will shrink considerably in the sunshine. But leaving a small gap will give you a bit of a buffer for unexpected expansion. Work from the right side of the playset towards the porch on the left. Don't screw in the last couple of boards on the porch on the left just yet, as later there will be two 2x4 railing posts that you will install, which are going to go through the floor into the joists below. At that point, you will need to cut some of the boards to allow them to fit around the 4x4 posts. If you go ahead and add all the boards now, you are going to have to remove those couple last boards later. So I'd advise just waiting so you don't have to do that. Next, you will build the front facing wall. Frame it, add the wall boards, cut out the round window and screw it in place. Then, you will frame all three remaining walls into place before proceeding to add the side boards to these walls. Let me reiterate, you are going to make the complete front wall with the studs and the fence boards on it and then after that you're going to just frame the remaining three walls and you're not going to add the fence boards or the side boards onto these until all three are framed. You will want to follow this order due to the vertical running boards on some of the corners. The two doors and the rectangular window will have one fence board above them. 
So make sure your horizontal studs above them are located accordingly. When you are adding the fence boards to your wall, start at the top of your wall and work your way down. This will ensure that the tops of your window and doors have a complete board above them. And if you need to rip a board lengthwise for your last piece, it will be less noticeable on the bottom than at the top of your house. A hard lesson I learned is that the wood isn't always the same dimension. I purchased my fence boards in multiple runs to Home Depot and the two different lots differed in width, so be aware of that. Hopefully if you got all your wood from one mill run, it will be consistent, but just something to be aware of that the wood could vary in width and that can make it a little difficult, especially when you're adding the sides to your house and you want all the pieces to line up. You're probably not going for a funky look in the walls where the boards are obviously different widths and the gaps are not aligning, so be aware of that. Now you're ready to add the roof. As long as you aren't scared of heights, this is pretty easy, but you will want a helper to help hold the joists in place. Then you can attach your slide and put up the railings. Note that I incorporated the railing with the bracing for my climbing steeple in the front right corner. A genius idea if I do say so myself. Then you can add any other brackets for the accessories you have chosen. My plans don't include instructions for how to build a bracket, but if you've got this far, you can definitely build a bracket yourself. Just make sure that you're fastening it securely to the house into a stud. You obviously don't want these brackets just fastened to the fence boards because that could be disastrous. You're gonna need to make sure that they go into a stud or a post, something solid. Once your accessories are up, it's time to let the kids run wild while your neighbor's jaws hit the floor at the masterpiece you have created. Again, check out the description below to purchase the plans that I have made for this playset if you're interested. It includes a material list with the quantities of the lumber and hardware you will need, along with well over 30 pages of detailed diagrams and color photographs, walking you through the build process step by step. Thanks for watching and good luck with your build. And again, just a reminder, if you missed the first video, check that out. There's a lot more footage of this playset in there, and you can find the link for that video in the description below. Cheers. <laughs> These plans include a material list. Oh, I can't multitask. The, <laughs> the plans include, what do they include?